Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Deepray and today we will continue our exploits into Warptorio. So, as always, let's just get some uh, resource gathering up and running. Um, I'm still gonna go with the, uh, what's it called? Burner and Sources, since we can't output enough power for this one to uh, justify going with uh, the other ones. So, oh, so let's just put down our normal setup. Going very, very well with this one so far. Um, setting up some. And there we are. Gathering some iron for us. Here is some coal. Might have to go grab some more. Um, of course, remember to put down uh, some defense. we are and get some turrets down so that seems good there we are so that is that up and running so let's get down some uh, some copper as well we have quite a bit of coal stored up so we could probably give it a while before we start to uh, to gather more of that so let's see here get your way and give you some coal as well um, I'm just gonna go back and grab some more coal to uh, make sure we have enough but of course let's remember our defense there we are so one of the other things I want to get done this episode is of course more research that is going quite nicely at the moment after we automated a lot of it last episode or the episode before that so let's see here there we are that should defend all of this for the foreseeable future uh, we could grab some coal i'm just going to go back and see how much we have we have actually not that much so i might grab a bit more and luckily that should be easy enough to do. First things first, let's just fill these. And let's fill that one. So hopefully this means these will run for quite a while filling up. Let's also set up some burner one or some coal gathering then. That is of course very easy to do. We have done it so many times before. Hopefully this will work without any issues. If we have enough, we don't. So let's just craft a few more or remove one row of these. I think that will work as well. So what if we do that to there and uh, there. I think that should be a loop and should work down up down up and back here is some turrets to defend you and the bites are already attacking so that means we will have to uh, to go and sort those out before we do that much more but uh, these can at least run for a little while uh, what we also did last episode was starting to set up a few more turrets since uh, that is uh, quite important to do. Let's just craft a few more. And we can just steal a small amount of ammo from right here. There we are. I think that'll be fine. And then add some here and here, some inputs. We can do that both places. There we are. And, oh, and these two up here. I was trying to figure out how to do it correctly and it's pretty much just this and for this one we can just take it from right here and defense defense turret turret so that should give us a bit of defense so logistics just got done um actually don't know how important this one is at the moment so we could actually wait with that and go for something a lot more important uh, factory floor could be good to get. 
doesn't take that long. But I kind of want to try and get a harvest platform. Because it says it's a portable platform that you can build on, and that sounds very cool. So let's try and research that, and hopefully that is something that will help us a lot in the future. Uh, we should also railway we can wait with. Boiler room might be nice to get a bit bigger. Or the factory floor. So what if we do, what is this one? So what if we do that and maybe get a car. Let's get a car first and then get the factory floor because I kind of want to move, uh, want to move some of the things down. Um, another thing I'm kind of debating at the moment is uh, instead of storing water, I think we can store steam instead. And the reason for that is, and I think it can, it's a one for one, a one to one ratio. Uh, hopefully you guys can comment on that. As you can see here, it consumes four, it's about seven, eight per second and output seven, eight per second. So it should be the same uh, amount in terms of storage. So that's at least what I'm hoping. And that way I can uh, store steam instead of water, since that will leave all the pollution in the old map and not uh, interfere uh, in the new one. And I think that would be uh, a good way to do it. But right now, let's just go down and deal with these uh, biters. Let's craft a few more turrets. I think that'll be fine. And they seem to be a living just down here. There we are. Just one single one. That can just... Uh, get killed and hopefully that will give us a bit more uh... there we are and repair that one good so that at least clears out that and let's just pick this one up let's just check the intermediate area around our base but uh, since that was the only thing attacking us I think we should be safe for a little bit you can see we have some iron here as well. That is quite good. But this is one of the reasons why I want to get the car as well. Because I think that will be very, very nice. Um, I'm just going to go inside, grab some coal. I think we might need it up top. And, uh, and see if we can't figure that out. So let's see here. Yeah, missing coal. That was... Uh, Kind of what I thought. So if we do that, go grab some from up here and use that over on, whoops. On what's it called? The copper, that will start working as well. Because it is full at the moment and that is not optimal. Could kind of grab some of the rest if that helps us in any way, shape or form. But uh, yeah, there we are. Um, so everything's going good. We are collecting a ton of things. I can see more biters trying to attack us. Um, could take this one with us if we have to go back and check things at base. Yeah, because we don't really need it right here at the moment. So let's just go clear out the biters. Um, I don't know if you guys remember a few episodes back, we found a loot crate. Uh, I haven't found one since, but uh, it would be cool to find one again, because I think they are quite good. Uh, do any of you know why they spawn and how many there are? If there's some uh, way to make them spawn? Oh, there is a ton of things we'll have to clear out. So luckily, yeah, go away by us. That should be easy. All right. There we are. Good. But um, I don't know if there's some way to see it on the map where that's, but uh, I think it could be good in terms of getting uh, some extra resources. But this actually looks quite, quite safe for this, uh, this map. And uh, that is actually very nice. 
And also, did any of you get my last reference um, when I was stuck on the island? Or Iceland? My uh, my title of this of the episode was called "Where Is Wilson." I don't know if any of you get the reference, but if you do, write so in the comments. I'd love to see if any of you know it. And uh, I'm a bit sad that I didn't remember that when recording the episode because uh, I thought that was a quite uh, fun little reference. And it could be cool to have a mod where, where it adds Wilson. <laughs> that could have been quite fun if you ever get on a, a desert, I desert on an island. That could be quite quite good. But let's just drop off some of these things. Might as well just go, just go all the way down. Give you some of that and that. That is good enough. Over here they might need a bit more. Seems like I hit the correct, correct, correct place for that. So uh, let's see here. No. Now my, that is working. We should also have some steel we can pick up. Let's just grab that. And let's just make some more, just so we have a bit of steel for the future. Because I think that is going to be very good. Um, I think this is fine, we're not going to lose anything when the Harvard platform hits. Because I think there's something to do with these uh, marked areas. That if you have something there when it expands, it might get lost. Or you might lose it even. So, uh, so yeah, that doesn't seem to be the case. Also, something I forgot to do is hook up the water. That could actually be quite good just to make sure we have enough. So let's fill up our depots while we still have the chance to do it. Oh, more biters. We'll have to go kill. Stop. And pump. There we are. Remember to fill up your water when you have time. So let's go for a little trip and see if we can find the biters over here before they grow too strong. Might leave um, what's called a portal thing out there if it's too far away. So we don't have to run all the way back. And let's grab some coal while we're at it. So they're coming from over here somewhere. Just gonna sneak by him, hopefully they don't see me. They didn't, that is good. That means we can get even closer to their base. Oh, and they're spawning quite fast. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, it's right here. That's the spawning area. Oh. Well, that's a few by a few spitters. Um, hopefully I can just drop down a ton of things and they will just leave me alone. Let's try this. Oh, bring it. That was very, very good. So that is at least those. And there's some more further south that we can take out as well. And we almost have a harvest platform. It's going to be very nice to see what that is. And if it's what I think it is, it's going to help us a lot. Hopefully some way of transporting uh, more things around. Instead of just... Uh, the normal way. Ooh, there we are. That is gone. And let's just take our teleport back. There's no reason to uh, to walk that far. So harvest platform done. Uh, before I go check on it, I'll just go and fix our inputs up here. Make sure that everything is working as it should. It's not, it's full of iron. Biters are starting to attack. And these are out of things. Stopping. Nothing, it seems. Inventory full. So let's just do. That's not going to help anything. But let's just get that to work. And this is fine as well. So let's see. If we can go downstairs in just a minute and check. Let's drop off this first. There we are. You can go there. Cool. Just go into that one. And there we are. 
Let's go up here and check. Um, as soon as I fill this up, let's go and check our, um, our harvest platform. Whatever that is. So this is working again. They're actually filling up quite, quite nicely. I think they might produce, yeah, copper faster, or smelting faster than uh, we can consume it. So that's actually a very, very nice case. We'll just leave that. <coughs> so harvest platform. The next thing I want to check. Whoa, what, whoa, what is harvest teleporter? Okay. Hello. What does, uh, does this one do? We can pick it up and, oh. What was that? <laughs> do any, okay, we can filter things. Wonder if that means that whatever we take in from the house that comes out here. Cannot mind, I don't know what that did. Okay, I don't know what that is. Hopefully it's something good. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but it, it's probably quite good in, in some... Oh, they're getting quite, quite close. And that could actually be a good place to use my robots just to repair our defense that are this close. But the rest is actually going very nice. Other than having to... Uh, to remember to fix all of that. There we are. That can go. That is filling up the green. These are filling up as well. Could we add a few more? Um, what's called labs? We pretty much just fit in four right here. Just so we can research a bit faster. And water is full. Out of coal, not good. So it seems we most definitely have to go grab some more. That is also a good place to have steam instead. So that is going. Things are going fine. We're not getting killed. Oh, let's not get stuck right there. <laughs> so uh, let's go grab some more resources. Don't really want to go as far away as uh, the bites are right now. Because I think they are quite, quite far into uh, the distance. But we can pick up this. Just starting to clear out the bits. What about up here? Everything has stopped. Is that because you're out of power? Only some of them are out of power. Uh, that is fine, that is fine. So uh, we almost have our four labs that we can use downstairs to speed up the production. Our power can still easily keep up. That shouldn't be an issue. Ooh. Let's add four more laps. One, two, three. And let's just do this before uh, we disconnect the power. Four. Um, power poles. It's not really what we're missing, but it will help us nonetheless. So this should speed up things a bit. And our power is holding strong. I actually think two uh, power plants is enough still. But uh, but yeah. Oh, that's a lot of pollution. <laughs> and the trees are slowly dying. Absorbing the pollution. Uh. Oh, and we got a car now. Let's craft one. Where's it at? Awesome. Mobile. Eight engines. Engines require... Oh, we're just out of iron. That's easy enough. What? 
Why does the Lamis craft that? Oh, it can be crafted by hand. Oh, that was uh, silly of me. So let's just put down one of these. Uh, we can't actually just do it right here. Craft engines and craft gears and a small amount of power. And you can get the rest. That was a few too many. But I think this at least should give us what we need. Yeah, let's just get that to run. And uh, and build up what we want. Uh, you can just get some more. Okay, there we are. And copper. Oops, not like that, of course. Good, but uh, wonder how long we should stay. It seems that these can still easily keep up with the amount of uh, bullets we're using, so we can actually stay quite a while yet. I think as soon as we uh, we start to see this dwindle down to around here, I think we might be using too much ammo to stay here. Don't know if that's a good way to measure it, but uh, let's do that as uh, a test for now. Oh, and let's remember to do this. There we are. So that is good, good, good. You are out of power. That is a problem I would like to rectify. Could just pick up most of our coal production, or at least that part. And throw it into these. And let's pick up some of these. That's not working anymore. You're not working. The rest are. Good. So things are going very well. I'm probably not expanding my base as fast as I should, but um, but yeah, that's just because I'm not quite sure how I should do it. Because I don't know how to use these. I might have to do a bit of testing to figure that out. Uh, so hopefully you guys will tell me as well. So I have like double inputs. Also, let's get more inventory. Oh, inventory slots, please. Please get better armor. Not that important. I just kind of want a car so I can drive around the world. But it seems we'll have. Oh, time are actually very, very late. So we probably have to leave very soon. And there we are. Here's some coal for you. And let's just get this stored there so how's this looking that's nine engines that is enough for one car if we have just a stack of iron plates so that means we have a car now guys that is great we can travel in style go explore go kill biters further away and that is always nice so uh, right now i'm just gonna collect a lot of these I'll start to collect them might as well start to pack up and move away from this map since uh, biters are getting more and more aggressive let's just pick up these things let's do the same over here let's just make sure we do this and we have enough room to take things back Let's pack up the copper. Almost enough. Oh, and more and more biceps are joining the fray. Whew, that was close. Hey, this is bigger. Look how nice that is. So you can go in there and Cole can go in there here the rest I can keep on me 
but I most definitely need to get more of these things. Stupid gun. And start to get away from here. <laughs> so let's collect this one. Watch out for the biters. And they have killed about 100 each place. Around that. There we are. Let's collect these. Of course, in the correct order. So we don't get left behind out here alone with the biters. No, 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 no. Stay away. Stay away, please. So this is easily keeping up still just these two producing ammo. Oops, there we are. And let's get down some more chests properly. Maybe get some bigger chests, but for now this is good enough. And we're also getting more room soon. So let's go and collect our water pumps. I think that is the last thing we have here. And to be honest, that should be all of this done then. Let's go ready to warp. There we are. And while we wait for it to warp, um, what should we do after these? Warp reach, not that important at the moment. Bigger boiler room could be good. Better lab speed. Ooh, bullet damage. That might be good to save us some. Um, that. And while we look at that, we can just start to experiment with a new warp harvester, however that works, because that is most definitely something I want to uh, to check out. It seems extremely useful. So uh, let's get that done. And let's get this one as well. That should give us a bit of research. What do you want? Oh, it's the oil that's holding things back. Let's get that so we start to collect oil around the world. And uh, and store oil inside our base. I think that will be, uh, be very, very useful for the future. So, more room. Always good. Ooh, that's a medium biter. Don't want too many of those. And get, let's get ready to warp. And as always, let's just wait here. And uh, yeah, then I will end the episode here. Uh, we can almost stay 30 minutes on a map now, on a world. In theory, I think we could stay for 30 minutes. Should we, from a resource point of view? Probably not yet. So um, yeah, that might change in the future. But uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you like, subscribe, and so many of you have already. And that warms my old, old heart. So uh, <laughs> I've been D-Gray and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.